Oh, well, hey there. Mr. Trutna, Clovis High School, how are you? Coming to you live, but you're going to be watching this and it's not going to be live. But it is live because I'm doing it live. From room D33. As I said, we're at Clovis High School. We're going to do Unit 7, Worksheet 4. Okay, and as tradition goes, let's get started with the joke of the day. So here we go. Today at the bank, the person in front of me asked if I could check her balance. There's the punchline. So I pushed her over. Get it? Explain it to somebody nearby if they don't get it. All right, so after you watch this video, remember, find that like button and crush it. I need to make some money from these videos. Okay, so here we go. This is worksheet four from unit seven. And what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to be solving for X and we're going to round to the nearest tenth for each one of the problems that are given to us. Okay. All right, so what we're going to be doing is, since um, we're going to be incorporating the trig ratios. How do I know that? Because homework four says trigonometry, finding the sides and the angles. So remember, the trig ratios are, there are three definitions that you need to remember. You need to remember that sine is equal to the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. The cosine trig ratio is equal to the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. And the tangent ratio for trigonometry is equal to the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. Okay, so these are the three definitions that you need to remember. So in number one, we are going to work from the 63 degree angle. This is what we call our reference angle, which many math teachers call the theta angle. So that's the 63 degree angle there. Okay, so the side that has a 16 on it is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to put an H right there to remind me that that's the hypotenuse. And the side that has the X on it is a leg. And since it's right next to my theta angle or my 63 degree angle, that is going to be the adjacent leg. Okay, so I'm dealing with an adjacent leg in A and I'm dealing with a hypotenuse in H. The only definition, the only ratio that has A and H in it, adjacent leg and hypotenuse, tells me this is a cosine problem. So I'm going to write down the abbreviation for cosine, which is COS. Next to the abbreviation, we always write the angle measurement that we're referencing from. In other words, the theta angle, which is 63 degrees. Then we always put an equal sign, and what we're doing is we're set on, setting up the equation so we can solve this. And then to the right of the equal sign, we're always going to put a fraction. For cosine, the fraction is the adjacent leg, which is represented by x, over the hypotenuse, which is represented by 16. So there is my equation that I'm going to solve, that I'm going to use to solve for x. So now what I do is I go to my table of trigonometry ratios and I find 63 degrees on my table. You can see right here on the table there is 63 degrees. And then I follow it over to the cosine column and you can see the cosine column is the middle column. So 63 degrees cosine gives me a decimal equivalent of 0 0.4540. So Cosine 63 degrees is just the decimal 0 0.4540. That's going to be equal to x over 16. And then I solve this equation for x. And the way that I would solve this is, is that when, um, the new, when x is on the numerator, when there's a number on the denominator, to solve it, what you do is you just multiply both sides of the equation by 16. That would cancel out the 16's over there on the right side of the equation. And we would get x is equal to 16 times 0 0.4540. So when I multiply this out, off, so I'm doing this off screen, we get 7.264. We're rounding to the tenth, so the answer is 7.3 for number one. Okay, number two, here we go. We're going to do every problem, at least numbers one through six, pretty much the same way. We're always going to be referring to a reference angle, which in number two is the 39 degree angle right there. Then if you notice, the um, 
side that has the 27, 27 on it is a leg, and it's across from my reference angle, my theta angle, so that would be considered the opposite leg, so I'm going to put an O there, and the side that has the X on it is a leg, and that would be considered the adjacent leg, so I'm going to put an A there. So then I have opposite leg, O, I have adjacent leg, A, the only definition that has opposite and adjacent, O and A in it, tells me this is a tangent problem. So in number two, I'm going to use tangent to solve. I write that abbreviation down, T-A-N. Next to the abbreviation, write the reference angle, the theta angle, 39 degrees. Put an equal sign, and then to the right of the equal sign will always be a fraction, a ratio. And for tangent, it's opposite leg, which is 27, over adjacent leg, which is x. So there is my equation that I use for x. Okay, then I go to my chart. I'm going to change 39 degrees tangent into its decimal equivalent. So notice tangent is the third column. I find 39 degrees, which is way down here off the screen. There we go. Now it's on the screen. There's 39 degrees. And the decimal for tangent 39 is 0 0.8098. So I get rid of that. I put a 0 0.8098. That is equal to 27 over x, and now I solve this equation for x. And now if you recall, like we talked about in class, if x is in the denominator, what you do is you just switch these two values. So put the x where the 0.8098 is, and put the 0.8098 where the x is. So that means x is going to be equal to 27 divided by 0.8098. There's a little trick that you do. When you divide that out, you get 33.34156582, and we're going to round out to 33.3. So there's number two. Okay? Number three. You can see it perfectly right here. So number three, my reference angle, my theta angle that I'm going to reference from is 49 degrees. Okay? X, as you see, is the hypotenuse, so I'm going to put an H there to remind me that that's the hypotenuse. And where the 14 is, that's a leg, and since it's right next to my reference angle, my theta angle, that means that's the adjacent leg, so I'm going to put an A there. So, in this problem, I have an A, and I have an H for hypotenuse. The only definition that has an A, adjacent leg, and H hypotenuse tells me this is a cosine problem. So I'm going to use cosine in number three. Write down the abbreviation. Put the angle measurement next to it, which is 49 degrees. Put an equal sign, and then cosine is the adjacent leg, which is 14 in this case, over the hypotenuse, which is x. So that's the equation that I use to solve. Then I go to my chart. I find the decimal equivalent for 49 degree angle cosine, which is 0.6561. So 0.6561, I replace that in the place of cosine 49 degrees. That's equal to 14 over x. And then once again, if you're solving one of these equations where x is in the denominator, you just switch these two values. So that means x is going to be equal to 14 divided by 0.6561. So 14 divided by 0.6561. And we're rounding it 21.3 for number three. All right, number four. We're working off of my theta angle. My reference angle is going to be this 15 degree angle right here. Okay, the side that has the 33 on it is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to put an H right there. The side that has the X on it is a leg, and it would be the adjacent leg because it's the leg right next to my theta angle. So Adjacent leg, A, hypotenuse, H, tells me to use cosine. Number four, we're using cosine to solve. So I write down the abbreviation. Put the angle measurement next to it, which in this case is 15 degrees. Put an equal sign, and then to the right of the equal sign, you always set up your ratio, your fraction. Cosine fraction is adjacent leg, which is X over hypotenuse, which is 33. So then this is the equation that we're going to use to solve for x. Okay, now I'm going to replace the 15 degrees cosine with a decimal equivalent, and I use my chart for that, and that is 0.9659. 
So 0.9659 is the decimal equivalent for a 15 degree angle sine. That's equal to x over 33. And then to solve this equation, when you have x in the numerator, what we would do is, is we would multiply both sides of the equation by 33. Okay? So 33 times 0 0.9659, 33 times 0.9659. 9659 is 31.9. I just rounded my answer. You should be doing this on your own calculator at home, not take my word for it. That's going to be equal to these 30, that 33 would cancel out that 33. So x is equal to 31.9 in number four. All right, number five, same idea. We have to pull it up a little bit though so you can see it. So number five, my reference angle is going to be the 52 degree angle. So that's what we call my theta angle. Okay, theta is just a fancy way for saying the angle we're referencing from. The x, where the x is, that is a leg, and that's the opposite leg, so I'm going to put an O. Where the 20 is, that's a leg, and that's the adjacent leg, so I'm going to put an A. So I'm dealing with opposite leg and adjacent leg, and you can barely see it, but you can see that is a tangent problem. So I'm going to use tangent to solve this problem. So I write down TAN, the abbreviation for tan. Next to it, write your angle measurement that you're referencing from, 52 degrees. Next to that, put the equal sign and then put a fraction to the, on the right of the equal sign. Opposite leg, x, over adjacent leg, 20. That's my equation I'm going to solve. Now I'm going to go to my chart. I'm going to write the decimal equivalent for a 52 degree angle tangent, which is 1.2799. 1.2799. That's the decimal equivalent for a 52 degree angle of tan. That's going to be equal to the fraction x over 20. Now if 20, if x is in the numerator, of this type of equation to solve this, what you would do is you would multiply both sides of the equation by the number in the denominator, which is 20. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 20. So 20 times 1.2799, I'm going to round that, it's 25.59, but that's 25.6 when you round it. That's going to be equal to, and these 20s would cancel out, so we get x. So there's my answer to number five, okay? Number six, my reference angle is gonna be 27 degrees. So that's what we call the theta angle. The side that has the five on it is a leg and it's the opposite leg, so I'm gonna put an O there. The side that has the X on it is the hypotenuse, so I'm gonna put an H right there. So I'm dealing with an opposite leg and a hypotenuse, so that means this is a sine problem. So I write down the abbreviation for sine, which is S-I-N. Put the angle measurement next to it, which is 27 degrees in this case. Then we put an equal sign after we write the angle, and then we put a fraction or a ratio. For sine, it's the opposite leg, which in this case is 5, over the hypotenuse, which in this case is X. And there's my equation. Now, I'm going to use my table. I'm going to see what is the decimal equivalent for a 27 degree angle of sine, which is 0 0.4540. That is going to be equal to the fraction, the ratio 5 over x. And now when x is in the denominator and I'm solving this, the trick is we just switch these two values. So that means x is going to be equal to 5 divided by 0.4540. Okay, dividing that out, 5 divided by 0 0.4540, we get 11.01, .01, so we're just going to say 11.0, or you could just say 11 for number 6. So that's how you would go about doing number 6. Number 7, okay, now in number 7, if you notice, my reference angle that I'm going to work from is um, x here. So this one's going to be a little bit different. We're still going to set up the problem the same way, but we're going to work from this x angle right here. And I'm going to write Sokotoa here again so we can see what the definitions are. You always want to be referring to Sokotoa as you work here. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm working from the x degree angle. So the side where the 6 is, that's the hypotenuse, so I'm going to put an h there. The side where the 4 is, that's a leg, and it's opposite of the angle, so I'm going to put an O. So I have O opposite, 
H hypotenuse just tells me I'm going to use sine for this problem. So I put down that abbreviation, sine. Now, next to the abbreviation, you always put whatever the angle is, your theta angle that you're referencing from, which in this case is x degrees. Then we put an equal sign, and then we set up the fraction. So sine is opposite leg, which is 4, over hypotenuse, which is 6. So that's going to be my equation that I'm going to solve. And I'm going to solve this one a little bit different than I did the previous six problems. And the reason is, is because x represents an angle now. So here's what I do. The first thing I do is, is I convert 4 over 6 into, its, into a decimal, simply by dividing. So 4 divided by 6 is 0 0.6666. And then I find that decimal under sign. So if you can see, finding that decimal under sign, I can't get exactly to it, but I can get close. It's right there. So I'm going to say x is 42 degrees for number 7.